original video on how to use mCopy to copy files from uh, one place to another. In the example that I'm going to use, uh, copying files from uh, an external hard drive to from one external hard drive to another, uh, from a full one to an empty one. In my example, I have two drives, a JK, J drive and a K drive. The J drive has um, 1.78 terabytes of data on it with a 1.81 terabyte free, so it's really close. If you have larger file, files than that, then you would need a larger drive. In my K drive is also a 1.81 terabyte, it's a 2 terabyte drive, but it works out to 1.81 terabytes free, and this is empty, so uh, this is uh, good. Good, 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 good. So I'm going to copy from the J drive to the K drive. Now in this case, I've put the copying software uh, into a folder on my J drive, and the reason for that is I want that to go along with the, the software. So I'm actually going to copy that over to the K drive. I just I just copy that by hand because it's, it goes so quickly. The reason for that is the person who receives this K drive will be able to use this to make another copy if they should ever want to. Uh, the main files on here are, uh, in, in this particular case, is a large folder called Bernie's Karaoke and another folder called CD Music. This is about a half a terabyte and this is about a terabyte and a half. So these are very large files. Um, on the internet, <clears throat> mCopy, uh, let's talk about mCopy for a moment. So if I go to the internet and I go to uh, levismountains.com. which is my website, <clears throat> lovesmountains.com. You will see a folder called NCopy, how to download and use. If you look on that, this is a, 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 a bit of an instructional file on how to use mCopy. Uh, getting mCopy to getting a copy of mCopy is very hard on the internet, but it is possible. Uh, here's a way in case this our, this file ever disappears or my website goes away, then you can get it off from uh, Dropbox right here, or you can simply click right here. If you click on this, it'll come up and say, "Do you want to save the file mCopy 4.17.zip?" And you would say OK to that, and then open the file on your computer and extract it. Inside of that file is the mCopy 64.exe software. Um, so. The command file that I use is, you know how to make a command file. You right click and you say create a text file and you name it with a .cmd on the end. Uh, this is for copying the Bernie Karaoke folder. And all of this is just, all these remarks are just text. Echo causes something to appear on the screen. Echo dot means an empty line. And this copies this. So CLS clears the screen and then this says copying Bernie Karaoke and then this just puts the current time on the screen for reference purposes. This is the actual line that matters. This is this is what does everything. First of all, you have mCopy64.exe. This file is located in the same folder as this file so that it knows where to find it. Uh, this is your source in this case and it's a folder. It's J colon Bernie Karaoke and this is the target. And it will create this file if it doesn't exist. Slash S means it copies all subdirectories. Slash D means it copies only newer files. Uh, XJD means ignore junction files, uh, junction directories. <coughs> Excuse me. Junction directories are something that are difficult to understand, but they will mess up copy processes. R2 means wait two to retry two times, and it means wait two times for each retry. No, no NSOC means uh, do not copy the NT security uh, information on the files. It's kind of esoteric, but I wouldn't worry about that. And TH8 means use eight threads. So this will copy eight separate threads at once, which is just about right for a process like this. Um, and that's it. Uh, pause means that the batch file will stop when it's done and it will say press any key to continue and when you do that then it will exit the batch file. So this is the, this is the, the you can freeze the screen and look at this, but this is the, what you would use as a command file. So now I'm going to close this and go to the uh, 
copying software and you'll see if I right click on this and go edit it's exactly the same file that I just looked at and for copy CD music notice that there's a folder here called CD music and so if I open that up it is ready to copy CD music to KD music and, and then so forth and all the same switches so it's the same exact file as the other one excepting that it has uh, the only thing you need to do to modify this file to work for you is to put in the drive letters uh, that are relevant for you or if you want to have the source be one folder on a, on a C drive to another folder on a C drive you can do that too but this is work much like Robocopy but one of the big advantages of MCopy is that when you're done you have a completely defragmented drive what mcopy does that robocopy does not do is mcopy examines the file size of every single file it copies it pre-allocates that space on the target drive so that when it gets done copying it byte for byte it exactly matches the pre-allocated space that pre-allocation prevents fragmentation and what you end up with is a fully defragmented drive which robocopy ends up with a highly fragmented drive and that's why mcopy is such an advantage plus which it is a little faster than robocopy okay so basically when you run it you will get this result I'm gonna run this and you get this user account control and you say yes and notice that you then end up with two black uh, windows you leave those alone you do not mess with those this particular copy process goes about a terabyte uh, about a terabyte every eight hours so since this is a half a terabyte or a quarter of a terabyte this will take at least two or three hours for this to run at this point I just let it run and that's it that's pretty much how you use mcopy so I hope this has been helpful and uh, uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, let me know okay contact webmaster you can con use contact webmaster and you can leave me a message about mcopy here if you have any questions okay so with that, uh, we'll, that wraps up this uh, tutorial on mCopy, and uh, of course it's uh, continuing to run. And there you go. Okay.